Good day everybody, this is Nel Karoko again and today we will discuss how to evaluate the road lighting design summary report. Okay, so I have one file, one lighting design calculation report from Relux and one from Dialux Evo and one from the regular Dialux 4.13. Okay, because sometimes, this is the scenario in the office, sometimes you will receive an inquiry from a client or from your salesman saying that I got a report from the competitor and the client is asking for an alternative luminaire and this is the parameter. So how are you going to read the report from the competition? Okay, so for example, this is from the Relax report. And uh, the first thing you need to look at once, uh, if you want to compete with the lighting design, uh, with the road lighting design of the competition using your own luminaire is the spacing of the pole. And for example, this one is 36 meters and the height of the pole. And right now you can see it's eight meters. The boom length, and you can see here, you can see that overhang is one meter, tilting is five degree, and also the maintenance factor. So relax, use a default of 0.8. I created a video previously about the, the default maintenance factors in road lighting from Dialux Regular and Dialux Evo, which is 0.67. So for relax, I think it's 0.8. And you can also adjust that one based on the type of the luminaire and the type of the road. Just look on the video that I created previously. And of course, what kind of road? Because right now you have different types of road. And this one used, okay, also the width of the road. It's 6.5 meters here with two lanes. Surface is wet and the surfaces are three and sometimes you can also check the grid points this time it's 12 by 6. okay i cannot see if it uses m3 or m1 yeah so what i can see right now is just use the surface of r3 no type of a roadway yeah, okay, and it uses 70, 37 watt of light fittings with 4,370 lumen output. Okay, so this is how this is how the relax calculation report for road lighting is. Okay, and uh, you can see the value of the TI, the UI, and overall uniformity. It doesn't have check, so you will never know if you achieve the lux value or not. <laughs> okay and um, yeah so let me just look on the I think that is one of the negative part of the relax report and if you want to look at the Dialux Evo report see this this Dialux Evo um, 10.0 I think so you can see here, here in the summary it says what is standard to be used and what kind of road classification it says M E 4 A yeah, it also used CIERE. I think this is similar to the RELAX calculation. It uses this R3. Okay, so this Dialux Evo also used the R3. And you can see here on the side that uh, this road lighting project used 28 watt of luminaire. And then the pole distance is 15 meters. For the relax, it's what is the spacing? Yeah, it's 36 meter luminaire spacing. This one is um, yeah, 18, uh, 15 meters spacing. The pole height is also 8 meters. It doesn't have a, in a tilt angle and also it doesn't have boom length. So it doesn't have bracket. And yes, it also have G3 glare index. It's used D6 while in relax it uses d2 so if you want to compete with the, uh, the client you need to use the same um, parameters so you will have the same result 
except you will just change your luminaires for the cal for your calculation. You can also use the same wattage like 37 watt but with your own uh, brand and your own um, optic because sometimes it differs on the optic because road lighting if you have a very good optic you can spread your poles far far away compared to the competition and I also discussed this one in my um, course in Udemy about how to use or which how to choose the optic for a road lighting if it's a wide road a narrow road and a medium sized road or a double lane road or a single lane road okay you go and check that one and this is the report from the Dialux regular 4.13 so you can see here those parameters again this is a two-way um, so this is a very wide road you can see 29 meters carriageway and the spacing of yeah this one it's used 0.7 maintenance factor in relax it's 0.8 yes it's 0.8 and for the dialux evo it's uh i think the default is 0.67 yeah okay it's here it says here that the maintenance factor is 0.67 and the good thing about the dialux evo is you can see that the requirement has been checked check 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 and you can easily see that yes you achieve your lux um lighting design requirements for the ME4 classification, road classification. While in Relax, it's, it's very less information. Okay, so I think in also in Dialux Evo, uh, Dialux Regular, you can also see those check, check, check. And it's very good also. And um, yeah, so how to evaluate your road lighting? Yes, go and check how many lanes, what is the maintenance factors used by the competitor, the height of the pole, uh, the spacing of the pole, and also you can also follow the same wattage. And then um, the, the edge or your main objective is to make sure that your value is lesser. Like for example, your competitor says this, the pole spacing is 36 meters apart. And based on your product or your luminaire, you can make 40 meters apart while achieving the same uh, lux value requirements or lighting design requirements. So it means your design is much better compared to the competitor because you can save a lot of uh, value or prices or, or money on the number of the poles and number of the luminaires because your spacing is much, is much um farther compared to the competition and also if for example um, the competition says they are using 37 watt and you can use 35 watt in your lighting design with the same parameter and everything then you are also much better because see the quant the the power consumption is lesser compared to the competition so remember the monthly consumption of the street lighting is very high for the municipality or for the city so go and find the parameter of the competition and then make sure that your design is much better in terms of the number of spacing of the poles the wattage and uh, sometimes the bracket and the height of the pole you can also play with the height and bracket of the pole because bracket is also costly and the height of the pole is also costly say for example this one the competition is eight meters if you can run a calculation using six meters only and achieving the same lighting design requirements then yours is much better because yes two meters for a pole is costly yes <laughs> so go and check that one Alright, so if you want to know more and learn about road lighting design, go and visit my course, Road Lighting Design Techniques at www.udemy.com. Alright, so see you again on the next video.